Rico is Cuban. It evolved originally in Cuba. Its roots are rooted in the bata drum of the Yoruba from Nigeria, but the rhythm itself is Cuban. It evolved, it started and evolved in Cuba. Uh, there are three parts to it. There's a tumbador, there's a tres golpe, and the quinto, which does all the soloing. And the tumbador and the tres golpe, they also com converse between themselves with the quinto in the middle, talking through it. And the function of the quinto is to accompany the dancers. When there's a dancer dancing, when he throws a step, the quinto hits where his foot hits. So there's two ways of playing the quinto. There's one to accompany the dancer, and there's one to just solo off of the rhythm patterns that are happening with the other two drums. Uh, a lot of people think that the quinto is just a riff drum that has no other purpose than just to riff, but uh, its real function is to accompany the movements of the dancer and actually lock into his steps and play rhythms that coincide with the rhythms he's dancing, uh, which is something that's not seen too much in this country. Uh, maybe about a week ago, there was a group from Cuba and New York called Los Muñequitos de Matanza, and they actually did the dance with the drumming, and it was amazing to watch the quinto player and, and the dancer actually in sync with each other. It was amazing. And uh, the guaguancó evolved like late 40s and became real popular throughout the 50s. And uh, Los Muñequitos de Matanza are one of the groups that popularized the guaguancó. They were the first ones to record guaguancó in its uh, folkloric form with just drum and chant uh, on 78s in the 50s. And they actually sold a lot of records. and. Uh, became very popular in Cuba. And they were also the, uh, the newspaper of the community. They would talk about all the political and social and family things that were happening around. And uh, they really make a lot of political comments. Even today in their um, recordings, uh, they talk about the war in Angola, they talk about freedom, they talk about Fidel and the positive and the negative things that are happening within the system. Uh, very radical cats. <laughs> and uh, very deeply rooted in the African tradition. Also, the dance in the Guavanco is symbolized as the rooster and the chicken. And the rooster's trying to get to the chicken, you know. And there's a certain movement sexually, uh, it's obvious sexually, where the chicken is trying to get to the hen, I mean the rooster is trying to get to the hen and it's called the vacunao. When a man throws his body to the woman, tries to get her in that spot, you know, and she tries to cover it. And it's a contest in that dance where uh, how many times the male dancer can trick the female dancer into really hitting the spot, you know. Uh, and it's, uh, it's, it's a very beautiful dance. Uh, so we have the example of Guamanco played by me, Milton, and Richie. <laughs>